one final confrontation with Eric Dungy. Hopefully he's available for the game. And uh, if he is, talk about what he'll, his challenges will bring. Um, you know, he's, a, he, he's an explosive player. Uh, he's a confident player. Um, you know, and you know, he plays with a lot of swag and a lot of, a lot of heart. So, um, you know, guys like that, you got to do your job. And, you know, eyes got to be in the right place. And, you know, you got to fly to the ball. They've had like, you know, phenomenal wide receivers. A couple of them in the pros right now. How does this three that they have right here stack up with the past guys you went up against? Right. I mean, it's always a good challenge. Um, they always, you know, uh, you know, have a lot of skill and guys who could, um, you know, they they always have playmakers who can go up and get the ball. So, um, you know, they're obviously a you know a passing team. I like to put the ball down the field. So, um, you know, that's obviously a you know a good challenge for us. Uh, you know, we're just gonna have to go you know go out there and uh, challenge them and you know be physical and uh, and uh, meet them at the point of you know contact and uh, the line of scrimmage. Why are these games always so heated? What was that? Why are these games always so heated? Uh, you know, uh, we go back <laughs> we go back far with this team. Um, you know, it's just how it is. You know, BC Syracuse is just uh, it is what it is, and you know both teams are completely bought into that. And obviously, you know, as you can see, the past few years have, you know, kind of shown that. And it's you know it's fun for us, and uh, you know it's fun for them. So, uh, you know, it's all it's it, it's all in uh it's all in the in the spirit of competition though. So um, it's always fun, you know, having that extra edge on the game. Did you ever get an apology for that nitwit that slugged you that year? <laughs> Uh, no, but you know it's 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 all good. Like I said, it was you know it's the nature of the game, and you know um, to be honest, I didn't I still don't even recall you know you know all the details of you know what happened. There were just so many people around, but um, you know the nature of the game, the nature of the rivalry. So I'm all for it. Well, you talked about the you know with the nature of the rivalry. What's it like? Um, a little bit is it a little different up here in the Northeast versus you know the, the Southern rivalries in the in the league. Um, you know, I, th I think it's I think it's the same. Um, and, you know, anytime you, you you put that rivalry tag on the game, um, you know that's going to spark players and that's going to spark emotions uh, naturally. So, um, you know, I think it's the same, and you know it'll be, uh, you know what it's you know, what it's meant to be. So, this being the last home game, um, if you had any, and last regular season game too. If you had a chance to just reflect on on the season, on the ups and downs, and and for yourself personally as well. Um, you know, it's been a, it's been, you know, it's been a wonderful ride, man. And, you know, I'm just blessed that, you know, uh, I was able, you know, things worked out to where I was able to, you know, be recruited by BC, ultimately come here and, you know, be here for four years and have some amazing experiences, meet amazing people um, and build, you know, amazing relationships with, you know, my coaches and my, my teammates. So, um, you know, we're, we're treating this like, you know, just like, you know, the next game week. So we're focusing on Syracuse, but at the same time, that is in the back of, you know, especially the seniors, that's in the back of our heads is, you know, going out with a bang and, you know, uh, we leave everything on the field every week, but especially uh, for this game, there's a there's a little extra emotion behind this game. Uh, Coach talked about him yesterday, the being able to, to get the breakthrough with the national spotlight, and now the next step is, is sustaining it. Um, how do you kind of feel about your place in that coming in, helping, you know, brick by brick was the term that he used with the program and, and getting it to a spot where you had that breakthrough? Right. I mean, I feel like we all we, we, we all do our part. Um, we all do, you know, that's all that you that you really can do. I mean, every single, you know, every one of us, you know, uh, we just have to make sure we do our job and, you know, the culmination of all that and, uh, you know, will we'll, we'll produce results. And so I think that, you know, above everything, we've done a good job of, you know, just controlling what we can control, uh, you know, doing doing our job and, you know, just playing as a team and playing, you know, playing with emotion, playing physical, you know, playing our, our brand of football. How did you guys, uh, how did you guys bounce that um, last week? Because that's a tough way to lose a game. And then what do we focus on what you got to do this week with the opportunity? I mean, yeah, it, it hurt. It hurt. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know, it stings and it hurts, and you know, it sucks really. So, um, I think that uh, what this team is gonna do an unbelievable job of doing is, is 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 bouncing back from that and playing with that extra stinger, playing with that extra edge because you know the game is fragile. You know, as you know, Coach Adazio says all the time, it's really fragile. So, we got to be on top of. You know our game, and the only way you can do that is to focus up on uh, on Syracuse, focus up on this game week, to do everything that we can to you know stay on top of our 
you know, stuff to give us, you know, the best chance to go out there and dominate this game. Well, talking about Fred, like, as a leader in the second game, did you talk to Sebastian or just like, those things happen, it just happened in a weird moment? Right, I mean, I, I, I talk to, I talk to, you know, I talk to especially all the young guys all the time and, you know, and tell them, just go out and play the game. Just go out and play the game. He's, you know, Brandon's a, he's a phenomenal player and he's going to be, he's going to continue to be a phenomenal player, man. He's just, he's one of those guys to where you can expect you know, great plays from him, from him every game, and you know he's still a young guy. It's only gonna he's only gonna get better and better. His ceiling is, I mean, out out of the roof. So I mean, I'm excited for guys like that. And you know, I just told him, you know, uh, you know, it's a part of the game. You know, especially at that corner position. Um, you know, above anything else. So, um, but above all, I, I always tell him just play with confidence. I tell you know all of our DBs, you know, just go out there and play with confidence, and you know let the chips fall where they may. So. Um, he'll be back, you know, better than ever again, and he'll produce.